Hi friends, and welcome back to my computer screen. If this is the first time you're with me, my name is Crystal, and I am so excited that you are here. Normally, this is a place where I share memory keeping projects and processes with all of you, but this month I'm doing something a little different and showing you some of the behind the scenes photo editing techniques that I do before we ever get to the craft table. So today I am going to show you how I take a photo like this one and turn that background white. So this picture was taken against a white wall in my basement with terrible lighting. Therefore, it looks a little beigey. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the adjustments tab and increase the brightness and the contrast. Once I have that to the levels that I like, I went ahead and went to the layer menu and merged those visible layers. Next, I'm going to open up the camera raw filter. In here, I'm going to increase the clarity and the dehaze. I'm also gonna fuss a little bit with the uh, vibrance and saturation just to get us colored the way I want us and lower down the highlights to take away some of that shininess on our foreheads. <laughs> then I hit OK and we are back into the main area. Next I'm going to go and select my dodge tool. So this looks kind of like a lollipop and basically what it is is it's a brightening tool. So up at the top where there are the menu items or the the drop down areas, I have it selected on the midtones and I have the exposure set to 21%. So then in this video, all you can see is like this tiny little circle, but in real life, it's a lot bigger than that. Um, so I have the size of the circle pretty big. And then all I'm going to do is click and drag my mouse over the areas of this picture that I want to turn white. And I do have to click and drag multiple times. What it's doing is it's applying a stroke to those areas. So I just am applying stroke on top of stroke on top of stroke until I get that color as white as I would like it to be. Now I have this on a super sped up version because it actually in reality takes a long time. Like I believe this took me about five minutes to get the entire background white. I know that there are other ways too of uh, whitening up a background. I just haven't been able to get those to work as nicely as this. So I'm going to go ahead and save it once I get it to the brightness I like. I'm going to open up this other one so you can see the difference between the two. Pretty crazy. So that is going to do it for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, let me know. And until next time, have a fantastic day. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye now.